Armstrong Entertainment. This movie is basically a play. Hey everyone, welcome to 2012. This is Armstrong Entertainment, Chad here, and this is the first movie review of the new year. So welcome to 2012. I saw the movie Carnage. It stars Kate Winslet, Jodie Foster, John C. Riley, Christoph Waltz, and it's directed by Roman Polanski. All right, this movie totally had me at the preview because it totally had the feeling of Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf, which is in my top five movies of all time. So I definitely had to see this. I knew it wouldn't be as good, and it wasn't. It's based off of a play. It's about two sets of parents, and their kids get in an altercation, and the two sets of parents come together to discuss the altercation at Jodie Foster and John C. Riley's apartment. And things happen from there. Basically, it's a lot of dialogue, a lot of speaking, a lot of talking. And it's very much like, I mean, it's based off of a play, so it's literally you're watching a play in a movie theater, which was kind of weird. It made it really weird because the audience felt like they were in a play and they were actually talking back to the movie screen. It was so bizarre. I've, I haven't been in a movie like this in so long where people are actually arguing with the characters and voicing their opinions on what they're thinking and feeling. It was really weird in that aspect where the audience was actually interacting with the movie. This movie's really short, it's only about an hour and 30 to an hour and 40 minutes long, which was good because I don't think I could have sat through much more of it. The first half wasn't as good as the second half, and mainly the reason why I like the second half more is because they started drinking and getting drunk. And that's what Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf's about, so that's kind of what I wanted to see. I wanted to see them argue and bicker, but there's so much dialogue, they're setting things up, throughout the thing you know something's gonna happen, and Overall, I enjoyed the movie, but I can definitely tell a lot of people will hate this movie. Literally at the end of the film, three people started clapping, and like three or four people started booing. It was so weird, and it was like totally split audience. Either people loved it or hated it. The acting in this movie is obviously amazing. I mean, there's four Oscar-nominated actors in this thing, and Roman Polanski directs it. I mean, the only thing I would say is there's points that were a little irritating because the motivation for their characters and why they were stuck in this apartment, they weren't stuck there. They chose to be there, but they didn't have to be. And it didn't make sense that they were there because you knew they didn't want to be there. So it was like, why are they still there? Why don't they just leave? You'll see in the film. I, I, I guess then again, that would have totally changed the movie if they left the apartment, but it was, it was an interesting choice, I guess. But it's definitely based off of a play, so I, I guess they had to stay true to the play. I, I think I would like the play more than I would like the movie. It probably should have been turned into a movie, but again, it was, you know, it's a little different. I would give it three stars. I don't think a lot of people are gonna love it, but definitely go see it for the acting. There's some laugh out loud moments, and you hopefully you won't be screaming at the movie theater screen like my audience was. It was really bizarre. I guess I would say it's the poor man's Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf, because that was way better. So check out Carnage if you get a chance. It's not playing at many theaters. But if you're feeling like watching a movie play, go see Carnage. Three stars! Bye. Yay! One, two...